Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to download the Stormworks mod loader so you can play mods in Stormworks for yourself. Okay, let's uh, hop right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go down into the description and click on the first link which will bring you to the, the GitHub for the Stormworks mod loader by Luinator. Make sure you grab the latest one. In this case, it's 1.0.4. Download that zip. Okay, got that zip. And I'm just gonna put it here on my desktop, but you don't have to. I'd recommend just putting it in your documents somewhere. Then you're just gonna want to extract it. You can tell it to just extract to itself if you want, or you can or you can make a folder for it, but you can just tell it to extract there. And now it has just made a folder on my desktop. Right here. Storm loader. You can delete this zip now. Now you can just open up, open up that uh, folder. Look for stormloader.exe. Then you can create a shortcut for it, and now you can just put this shortcut wherever you want. Probably just on your desktop, so you can easily access it without any issues. So you can, like this can just be in your documents, this can sit in your desktop. So then you can open it easy. So there we go. Just opened it. It says hi, welcome. And there's a user guide, but you can take a look at that if you want more info. So this is the root directory of the Stormworks install, as it says right here. Uh, this can be a little bit tricky to find, but it's really not that hard. You just go to Steam, click on Manage, go to Properties, go to Local Files, Browse, grab this extension right here, copy that, you can close out of that. Of that then you can just put that in there go next then for your extract location you want to just look in here open up this extract folder and then copy this directory and then use it here There, now it's all set up. So you can manually add mod like mod files into your extracted folder here. But you can also just you can also just use the repo, which is very nice. And you see it's just an online list of anything and everything. Yeah, in this repo here we have most mods, like for the most part everything's in here, all the major mods, there's going to be more to come, there's still definitely a few, quite a few that are not in here, but there is some, but with the repo it's really easy, you can just choose a mod that you want. Let's say I want the ships pack. You hit get. Tells you download is complete. Activating mod. You can hit OK. You can also search but it's not that many mods to search through yet. You can hit close and you can see it's just in here. You can hit the check mark to turn it on. X to turn it off. So if you put it on check it would obviously give you all the stuff for the mod in-game 
if you hit X then you don't get the stuff so you can you know put it on and off as at will you also got these profiles you can have so let's say let me just add some more mod okay so we can just get some more mods from the repository here so let's just say tank parts pack better buzzers and modular lights ooh and smaller parts and stuff okay now we have all those in here so we can for example save a profile you just open up this profile folder in here this you can just call this profile for example like all on save it and you can also just like turn these all off save the profile all off and maybe you let's say if you have a Pacific creation that just happens to use like ship packs uh, smaller parts and stuff than tank parts or something you can also save this profile as like I don't know whatever you want really just reset one whatever you want or you can call it the name of the ship or whatever you're making and here you can just load up all those so let's say I actually want all of my mods right now boom you got all of them if you don't want any mods right now then you can just turn them all off and if you have a certain preset for a vehicle and you don't want to remember it well here's these are the mods required for it then as an example of what you can do with these profiles so let's just turn it all on here and you can actually just you can click on these and it gives you a little bit of a, a a little bit of a description but most of the best description is like on the repository here I mean you can just see the description here but here it just tells you basic overview and you can actually just launch the game from here okay it's launching see we just got regular old Stormworks this is just the same Stormworks as in Steam like Steam just sees you as playing Stormworks like this is no different this just adds a small in-between step that puts the mods in so I can just go into a game here okay now that we've loaded in can just hop into a annual the workbench and you will see you got the mods that you selected so we can just search up here whatever we want so let's say tank parts pack tank um, you can see here's like a tank wheel tank things but you can also like kind of a a naming scheme we do is that we always put modded in brackets and then creator's name you can just do like Luminator for example like Lou here. and you can see all his stuff or you can do like or you can do for the ships part which is just the creator's name which in this case let me quickly check check what abbreviation okay Z Z U you can see here Z U I Oop. and you can see all his stuff that's part of his pack at the moment so that's a very easy way to you know search mods yeah you just have everything here you can just use it place it down like any other thing and yeah that's basically it you don't have to do anything else special you can just leave the game as normal save things 
save creations is normal everything's normal except you just got awesome new modded stuff that you can play around with okay that'll be it for today's uh, video we'll be doing other tutorials and reviews on this channel so if if, uh, if there's something you want us to make a tutorial for then make sure to let us know make sure to like subscribe and we'll see you next time goodbye